Welcome back to the Independent Republic of Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. John says, Mike, what has been going on at ITV is very serious and heads must roll. Well, huge stories around this morning, of course, about what the latest news is from ITV. And people who say to me, oh, this is not a story that's that important. Well, it's a very important story because for all sorts of reasons, ITV is a very important part of the fabric of this country. Uh, Paul says this, Bookie's favourite for a new name for ITV's flagship morning show. Good grief, odds on favourite. Good riddance, two to one. Good, bad and the ugly. Five to one. Not bad at all. Quite like all that. Now, um, in the mail again today, how much did £3.5 million ITV boss know about the Schofield scandal? This is a question being asked about Carolyn McCall, Dame Carolyn McCall, the woman responsible for jettisoning Jeremy Kyle and Piers Morgan, both of whom, of course, here now at Talk TV, uh, completely unceremonially done away with as if they'd never existed in a way which was quite brutal uh, and really quite remarkably kind of cold. Now, you might say, well, they're big enough and ugly enough to take care of themselves, and that may well be true, but it's hardly uh, the sort of thing that should have happened given the way that Philip Schofield has been treated because they're now saying uh, inside of ITV uh, that basically his lover, um, who was sort of siphoned away from his job this morning, given to loose women who didn't want him and who was then basically siphoned out of the game altogether, could have been paid as much as £300,000 as a payoff. Now, that could have been paid in a variety of ways. It might be, as Philip Schofield would say, unwise but not illegal. But we don't know. Until you know the details of these deals, you don't know whether it was done in a dodgy manner or not. Was tax paid on it? Was it made as a redundancy payment, in which case most tax would have been taken off it? Would it have been paid in some way uh, as a reward for keeping stum, i.e. was there a non-disclosure agreement signed? These are all questions that will come uh, to pass and be answered over the course of the next few days, because ITV are going to have to answer them. We're now hearing, by the way, and we can say this to you exclusively because of some people we've been talking to uh, in the show biz business, uh, that there are several high-profile individuals, we can't name them at the moment, who are withholding their labour, who are basically saying, until somebody is given the heave-ho from this morning, we will not be appearing on it. And that would explain why Hannah Hope just said uh, that there's not really very many big names appearing at the moment on this morning because they kind of don't want to be associated with it because it's a tainted brand. But we are now in a place where unless and until a senior producer or a daytime TV person uh, or the head of ITV uh, is given the, the sack, the heave-ho, these high-profile individuals will not be turning up for work. Now, that is a very damaging piece of news. Coming on top, as it does, of all of the advertising companies that are pulling out, of all of the sponsors who are no longer wanting, me to, wanting to be involved with this morning, ITV right now is a toxic brand, and people don't want to be associated with it. Philip Schofield himself has been removed uh, as an ambassador for the Prince's Trust. He's already lost uh, his wine business, and, of course, he's already lost his other business, which was WeBuyAnyCard.com. So the whole thing has fallen down around its ears and nobody knows exactly who's responsible but people will have to know over the course of the next few days and certainly until and uh, when they actually turn up to see the parliamentarians in parliament there might be some very tough questions that get asked and they will have to give proper answers because this stonewalling thing isn't working whoever you are at ITV you need to listen to this and listen good you need to get out in front of this story, you need to explain what happened, you need to tell us who was responsible for all of this nonsense, and then you have to sort it out. And by that, I mean you have to clear out an awful lot of people. And Carolyn McCall should be number one on the list. Simple as that.